Hello and welcome. You're here with me, Chaddy Tumblr. We are on DCS. We are flying the beautiful Mosquito, and I'm going to show you the relatively quick startup and takeoff guide. So we're inside the cockpit, and the first thing we need to do is we need to right click up on here to lift that up. And then we need to change some fuel cock valves at the back here. Now they are quite hard to see, so there are two ways we can do this. You can press two on the keyboard if you're in single player, and then that will let you jump in and we'll, we can see the panels that way. Um, but what I prefer to do, because I play multiplayer a bit as well, is if you turn on the reflect site here, with a left click, you notice my view has now moved across to the middle of the cockpit. And now when I look over my right shoulder, I can see the three levers that I'm interested in. So I'm gonna left click on this one, and that's gonna put it on the outer tank right click on that one for the outer tank and right click on this top one and that gets everything ready to go i'm then going to go to the throttles and i'm just going to crank them forward a little bit not very much and then we are pretty much ready to talk to the ground crew now if you bring up the comms menu and you talk to the ground crew and you this is what we're going to do is we're going to start priming engines if he doesn't say copy there's no reply it's because we need our windows are closed so you need to have a window open because the ground crew can't hear you shouting inside so let's go for ground crew start oh, climbing engines copy okay he said copy so that's great it's only going to take him a second or two to prime the engines so we're going to go underneath here and we're going to start the left hand engine first so i'm going to right click right click and i'm going to open these two covers with right clicks and what i'm going to do is i'm going to left click and hold on this button i'm going to move across and i'm going to right click and hold until the engine kicks in and it's only going to take a few seconds so oh let me just get under here so left click and hold right click and hold i'm still holding okay it's kicked in i'm going to let go of both buttons and we can see that that has closed and then we're going to do the same for the right hand engine so right click right click open the covers left click and hold Right click and hold. And that's spinning nicely. So let go of those. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna throttle back a little bit. And we'll just let those, actually 1200 RPM. Pull to about there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let the engines warm up. So if you get it to about 1200 RPM, then um, the engines will do their thing and they will do all of that kind of stuff. Working on the cockpit, let's turn some buttons on. We're going to turn on these two. Um, this is the navigation button um, at the back. You don't really need that one for most general flying. I'm going to put my radio on, channel A. I'm then going to trim on here with the trim. Nose down, so I'm just pushing the... Um, oh, just pushing the controls. Here we go, for elevate, elevator nose up and nose down, which I've got set as my arrow keys. So I'm going to go nose down until I get to about two. This thing does like to take off and go, and go straight vertical. So that's that. And then we're going to cockpit. If I had rockets so that one should fire in salvo mode, I would turn that on. But we don't really need that for most things. Um, and then we can turn on all of the lights and guns. Sorry, the uh, lights and the camera. Turn on the fuel pump. Now, if you accidentally do what I did there it moves the view in and out because when the reflector side is on it puts you in the middle of the screen um, and we can turn these two on as well it doesn't do anything and that is pretty much it the last thing we have to do is our radiators and we turn those on um, and we can have the air filter on if you want it as well and when we taxi um, there's a few things we can do to get make, make things easier so with the flaps we don't actually need flaps to take off but you can set it for 15 degrees is what it recommends in the manual so to do that you have to unclip the flap so i'm doing this with a right click and then as you press left mouse button you'll see this move and then when you right click it stops it and the clip comes back in again so i'll just you can I'm just going to go just past 10 like so and then in preparation for getting the gear to go up i'm also going to put this little lock on here and that is definitely us ready to, ta to taxi so for taxiing um as soon as you take the if you as soon as you touch the wheel brakes like so, it's going to take the parking brake off, which is why you need to just keep an eye on your throttle. So we're okay, so we're not spinning or anything. And then when you push the wheel brakes, if you haven't got any rudder selected, we see both those dials are going up. Well, if I now do um, full rudder on one side, it hits one brake, and full rudder on the other, it does the other brake. And then you can kind of, depending on how much rudder you're putting in, so that's how we do our fine control. 
So I'm going to just start going forwards and just carefully using that wheel brake and the rudders to keep the aircraft in control. So I'm trying to not let it overturn at any point or overcorrect. Some aircraft you can do um, really quick um, turns and then scramble straight away. With this aircraft, I wouldn't recommend it. I would make sure you've got your aircraft pointing down the runway and happy with it before you put the full throttle on. So I'm just going to make sure I'm lined up and rolling nicely forwards. So I don't want to be accelerating in the turn. So that looks about right to me. So then I can start applying the power. I don't need to use the wheel brakes anymore because I've got enough speed over the controls. And at about 200, this thing will take itself off. So, and what I can do is gear up, flaps up. Just judge as it sorts itself out. That's it, we're good to go. So that's the quick startup and takeoff tutorial for the lovely Mosquito aircraft. If you have any questions or comments, write down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Until then, happy hunting and stay safe.